Hey, Ben Hinwood with Designer's Home Gallery. We're back for week three of Topic Tuesday, although this video is actually dropping on Thursday because this video has been a labor of love to get together. Uh, we have spent about a week and a half and spoken to dozens of manufacturers, field territory managers, claims inspectors to compile this list on what we're calling waterproof flooring. So the hottest thing in the industry right now is this waterproof flooring. Uh, luxury vinyl plank, luxury vinyl tile, LVPs, LVTs, whatever you want to call it, we're all talking about the same thing here, which is waterproof flooring. So let me just stop. We're going to put a little disclaimer into this video, maybe have something rolling across the bottom. Uh, there is no such thing as waterproof flooring, okay? All of these manufacturers are giving you a topically water resistant floor. If you check the fine print to this, it's not to be submerged. It's not to uh, have, have that type of environment. Uh, we are just giving you a very, very durable, topically water resistant floor. Okay, so we don't want to over promise over and then under deliver here. Uh, so with this video, let's just talk about topically water resistant floors. So. While we've scoured the internet, spoken to manufacturing and all that, like I said, we've basically compiled this down to three types of floors. The first one is PVC floors, which is a polyvinyl chloride floor. Uh, these are the type of floors you'll see uh, mostly in uh, commercial applications. You'll see them property management, rentals, apartments, um, maybe churches, schools, stuff like that. We're dealing with a glue down uh, mostly wood vinyl plank floor. Uh, these can be very flimsy. Uh, they're just they're going to be lightweight, but they're cost uh, effective. And so with this type of floor, uh, it's mostly going to be a property management, light commercial type environment. The second one, which is probably the most common that you're going to run into, is WPC floors, wood plastic composite floors. These are commonly referred to as WPC waterproof core. That's not what it stands for. It's a wood plastic composite. Uh, these floors are the most common in homes. They're made up of a wood pulp, a plasticizer, and a foaming agent. These floors are, for, are fantastic because the, uh, the way the core is designed, it gives you a little bit of an insulation. Uh, it helps with acoustics. It feels great underfoot. It has a little bit of a give to it. Um, these are uh, mostly commonly referred to as a comfort floor. The WPCs are, like I said, probably the most common out there. Most manufacturers are making a very large collection of these. The third category is SPC, stone plastic composite floors. Uh, these will sometimes be referred to as the rigid cores. Uh, these are a bit more of a commercial application They're, uh, or a commercial core, if you will. These are made of natural limestone and a plastic stabilizer. These floors are very, very durable. They also come uh, with a colder, a harder, and a little bit louder uh, feel and walk to them. Um, these floors are also gonna be thinner, uh, but that's because they're compressed more. And uh, these floors will give you maybe a better performance if you have pets. So if you wanna think like a good, better, best, not necessarily that this is the good floor, this is a better, and this is the best floor, but maybe just think about good, better, best as far as the performance. Not necessarily the floors, because all these manufacturers make really good products inside each of these categories. But I would just think maybe as a performance, you could say good, better, best, PVC, WPC, and SPC floors. So those are some things to think about when you're uh, looking at a quote unquote waterproof floor. Then when we get to the finish coat that's on top, we're gonna to look at um, a couple different uh, finish wear layers. Urethane is the most common finish that they're putting on top of these vinyl waterproof floors. Um, urethane uh, finishes is gonna be a less expensive option. And so that to keep the cost down um, and to market it, urethane will be your baseline. An acrylic finish is gonna be a step up. Acrylic finishes are gonna be the more desirable finish because an acrylic finish can actually be touched up and doctored from minor chair scuffs, pet snails, tra traffic areas, you move something across, you scuff the floor. 
uh, we recently did an entire installation in a home and the customer wanted to save some money so they would move in the objects in the home themselves and while moving a upright piano across the floor he scuffed it and so he called in to find out what could he do to save his new floor and we were able to give him what the manufacturer said as a helpful tip and the floor scratch was removed and when I went out to visit him he couldn't even find the spot that he damaged which made me happy because he was not going to be dead when his wife killed him for messing up her new floor. The third uh, option on this is Diamond 10 floors. Uh, Diamond 10 is a proprietary finish by Armstrong and it is available on select floors. We recently did, I believe it was in week one, we did uh, pet friendly floors and we went in depth to Armstrong's Diamond 10. We'll drop a link below uh, to find that video if you want to learn more about Diamond 10. So we talked about the three cores. So our, our PVC core, WPC core, and an SPC core. We talked about the finishes, urethane, acrylic, or Diamond 10. So let's talk about how thick we need that finish coating to be to protect your investment. So with that, a six mil finish wear layer is going to be the starting entry level on that. Those are gonna be property management, just your entry level price points. The next step up most commonly will be a 12 mil. And this is going to be a multifamily, light foot traffic, common areas, uh, something for a home if you will. And then depending on the traffic of your home, we might step up to a 20 mil, multifamily, maybe some type of a, a light, uh, small business, uh, flooring, heavy traffic. And then from there, you'll step up to like 28, 30 mils. Uh, you'll, you'll have some upper end numbers and those are gonna be just for uh, high traffic. To think of how thick this is, a 30 mil coating is going to be about the thickness of a, a credit card. So that just kind of helps you understand like how thick we're talking about when we're talking of a mill thickness. Kind of bring this back around. One of the hottest uh, things right now and speaking with our reps is they're getting a lot of questions about three season rooms. Can I put this in a three season room? People are just kind of maybe tired of a carpet out there and they want something different. So the answer is yes. Uh, some of these floors are rated for a three season room, which is gonna be just an enclosed sunroom, if you will, not necessarily fully uh, heated or air conditioned, but it is somewhat climatized a bit. Uh, if you want to do a three season room in one of these waterproof floors, just make sure that you see it in writing. Uh, most of the samples will say approved or not approved if you're wanting to go into a three season room. When we've spoken to all of these reps, field inspectors, field territory managers who are happen to field phone calls, what we're about to tell you is top secret. This is this is uh, the very, very inside information, if you will. Don't tell anyone else, but this is just for you. Because we're cool like this, we want to help you out. So warnings, flash something across the bottom of the screen here. This is warnings for your investment. If you're looking at a floor and it has a cheap price point, it's a cheap floor. It's too good to be true, don't trust it. This has been told to me by a number of people. The biggest problem we run into in this, this ever thriving field of flooring is product stability. Cheap floors are made cheaply. These are going to be overseas floors. These manufacturers are pumping this stuff as fast as they can get raw materials. They're buying materials from a number of sources and they don't have a consistency inside their product. With that, they run into product instability uh, to where you'll get curling, you'll get cupping, you'll get shrinkage, the floor is just expanding and moving at a drastic rate. That floor is going to fail and you're going to be very, very frustrated and you're going to hate floors. If you have an older home and it has older windows and in the summertime, those windows are extremely uncomfortable to the touch. They're hot as all can be your floor will be as hot as all can be also. I've spoken to a person who goes out and for his living, he inspects claims and product failures. He has taken a thermal imaging uh, th uh, gun and had a reading and of excess of 130 degrees on the floor. 
That is a hot floor. The floor was not designed to do that. So as much as we would love to sell you floors, if you have a uh, old home like that with those bad windows, you probably should replace your windows before you replace your floors. As always with any product, it's only as good as the installation. If you want to do it yourself, make sure to read the pre-installation guidelines because if you miss steps on that, all of the manufacturer's warranties are not valid. So follow the pre-installation guidelines and follow the installation instructions. If it, re it requires you have a proper expansion joint around the perimeter, if it requires a certain staggering, whatever it might be, follow those installation instructions so the floor can thrive and do well. And with anything, please follow proper cleaning instructions. How do you maintain your floor? Uh, we want you to have a floor that you're happy to come home to and that you love because life is too short to have ugly floors. Uh, Designer Home Gallery, again, we say it, our motto is saving the world from ugly floors and we'd love to help you out with that. If you found this video to be beneficial, uh, please give us a thumbs up, like it, uh, share it. Uh, and if you have questions about any other topic, please drop a comment below about what uh, uh, you would like us to discuss on an upcoming video. You can follow us at No Ugly Floors, Designers Home Gallery, Facebook, Instagram, other social media feeds also. Uh, if you have any questions, our website is www.noUglyFloors.com or you can reach us direct at 316 440-8888. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.